Remark it to people who almost completed their purchase. If you want to make people come back to your website and complete the purchase of your products, you should try your best to avoid people not finishing the purchase on your website, and then take advantage of Facebook custom audiences to remark it to them as your backup plan. Shopping cart abandonment. In the world of e-commerce, shopping cart abandonment is a bitter truth. This is the most disappointing problem for online marketers. How do you minimize cart abandonment? So, if we check the average of shopping carts which are abandoned, the rate is around 80%. So don't look at the average percentage and don't give up. Let's see it with a broad mind and take it as an opportunity. You will be able to earn hundreds of dollars in additional monthly revenue if you are able to find a method to minimize cart abandonment. Customers who come under the category of cart abandoners, in fact, are there to purchase your product. They just require a little motivation to buy the product in many cases. So you can just simply make a list of them, custom audience, and then give them that little push by remarketing to them properly. Promo codes and discount offers. The best method to deal with your purchases is to escape card abandonment from ever occurring in the future. So to achieve this goal, at the most important point in your purchasing process, Hit your shoppers with the most amazing and attractive offers. You should take this critical point as an advantage, since many purchasing decisions are done on the checkout pages and cart. On these pages, always offer your shoppers a promotion to entice them to complete the purchasing process. You should remove all the reasons for cart abandonment and deal with the shoppers in the way that they are looking for. Due to additional costs, such as shipping and service charges making the cost higher for products, it is the main reason for cart abandonment. After finding such a high-priced product on your website, shoppers will look for a discount or promo code and will leave your website if they don't get it. So, to grab their attention and force shoppers to stay on your website, offer them a discount or free shipping to complete the process of purchasing. As a result, their level of comfort will be okay after looking at the discount offer, and they will purchase your product. Something really smart you can also do with these promo codes and discount offers is that you can also use them in your Facebook remarketing ads. Exit Offers In this training, we also want you to save some bucks in paid advertising. So, Exit Offers can help you decrease card abandonment significantly. So, we can leave Facebook remarketing ads as your last choice and not the only one. Sometimes shoppers go away from your online store despite your hard work of driving sales. They move away through small cracks. So, this is the point where you can apply the method of exit offers. This offer is given to shoppers at the very last minute when they are almost ready to leave your site. Exit offers give a final opportunity to shoppers to complete the purchasing process. So, to grab these customers... Applying the method of exit offers is usually applied at the very last moment when a shopper moves away from the checkout pages or the cart. Another way is to offer them a promo code to influence them to complete the process of purchasing. It eliminates all the hurdles for the shoppers and permits them to go through a promo code for their order. Another method is to apply an emotional trigger to your customer, such as a limited time discount offer, etc. Simple Targeting Rule Another way is the use of a simple targeting rule which you can use to target high-value carts. Shoppers which will have a certain dollar amount in their cart or a specific item, you can present them offers using the simple targeting rule. At this moment, you can go for the exit offers for those shoppers which want to deal with higher-value products. Let us show you with an example. Let's say you usually offer 10% off, but at this time, you will also offer them free shipping because they are a high-value shopper. As a result, it works very well as these promotions are easily accessible, exclusive, and show true value to shoppers. Methods to remember for remarketing to shoppers at the cart page. As a recap, here's a list of the best methods for you to remarket to shoppers who almost complete the purchasing process. Always remarket the same item to shoppers that they didn't buy. Use promo codes or discount offers to influence shoppers to complete their process of purchasing. Present exit offers to shoppers at the very last moment. Convince shoppers with limited time offers.
considerably grow ROI by upselling to your past customers. Are you looking for the most profit for your marketing but can't find the perfect way? You need to take a moment and think about upselling. Make people buy more of your products without putting out extra effort. The best part is that the difficult step has been taken. You just have to encourage your buyer to make a higher cost purchase than they originally planned to. We usually hear these questions from cashiers at fast food outlets. Would you like to have large fries? Can I add a dessert in your order? This is just a way to upsell. When we are already buying something, there is a chance that we will get another one of the same category or we would like to upgrade what we're already interested in. You can invest nothing and still grow your income by playing this game of upselling. It helps you grow your sales because you don't have to convince new customers. Just make the old ones happy and present something bigger and better. How can Facebook remarketing help you to upsell? Facebook remarketing ads are increasingly used by many marketers to upsell their products without spending extra effort and money. These ads are easy to generate and help in producing great feedback from the targeted clients who actually intend to or have already bought your product. Dynamic ads on Facebook allows you to generate automatic upsell campaigns for your clients based on their interests that are spotted from the recent searches and purchases. The ads are displayed on your customer's social media feed and there is a chance that it attracts them again and you can increase your growth with your past customers instead of making new ones. The most important part of Facebook remarketing is creativity. Let your images pop and attract your clients. The other point that needs your attention is the choice of words. Make the right call to action. Try different versions to see which one works the best. How do you do it step by step? Here are a few strategies that you need to keep in mind while upselling with Facebook. Number one, generate a list of past buyers. Organize them in order of their interests. The easiest part is that you already have the contact information of the targeted audience. This step will help deliver the right message to the right person. Number two, now it's time for your Facebook remarketing ads. As the people are already organized in groups, you can target the right individuals with the right ad. If someone bought a couch, hit them with an ad of throw pillows that will complement their previous purchase. Number three, provide discounts and free gifts to your loyal customers. This will create a sense of affection between you two. Give them chances to shop again. Show them ads of products related to their interests based on their earlier purchases. Number four, limited time offers create an urge to buy as your customers don't have much time to waste in thinking. Run an offer with a discount and set a reasonable time so your clients can avail it quickly. Benefits of using an upselling strategy. We have been discussing this in the start, but let's get into more detail. Let me present you the factors that are enhanced when we use upsell strategies. Return on investment, ROI. When you try to invest in getting new customers, it costs a lot but gives less. Less than upselling strategies. Your investment will be almost nothing in upselling as compared to the investment you do for new clients. While your new client makes one purchase, the past ones may have made two or three if you apply the right upselling strategies. Customer Retention Rate, CRR. When your clients get their hands on the stuff they are looking for, there is a chance that they will stick with you for a longer time. It will increase your overall growth. Things to keep in mind while upselling. When you choose your upselling strategies, keep the following things in mind so you don't mess it up. Don't waste your time on angry customers. Identify the happy ones and make them buy more. Focus on customers' needs. Don't explain the features. Describe the benefits. Because people don't care about your product, they care about themselves. Keep reminding your customers about you and the reason they chose you. Do not upsell more than 25% of the actual price of the product. Pay attention to your ad. Create a catchy statement and a striking image to attract your target audience. In conclusion, upselling is a great method to increase your income. 
It is an extraordinary way of progressing your company, so don't ignore it. It's time to take advantage of this goose that lays golden eggs. Dramatically increase lead generation rates by using page engagement. Generating leads is one of the most important business goals for any online marketer. No matter the size and activities of your business, getting new customers allows your business to grow. As a first step towards acquiring new customers, lead generation remains an indispensable resource for any company wishing to develop its sales and business. Many business owners today generate leads using different channels and techniques. But not all are valid and fast when it comes to generating quality leads. Hence, trying to generate a lead in today's ever-competitive market requires using the best approach and or strategy. But when it comes to using Facebook as one of the best remarketing tools, the increase in lead generation rates also depends on the mechanism used. Using page engagement in Facebook remarketing is no doubt one of the fastest and most effective ways to increase lead generation rates. But what is a lead in reality? And what does page engagement entail as it relates to Facebook remarketing? We will try to answer these essential questions that influence the health of companies. What is a lead? One can simply say that a lead is a commercial contact, that is, a registered contact with a potential customer. This contact is usually registered in the database of a CRM, Software for Processing Business Opportunities. Now, this contact can be saved as a request for information or estimate by a phone call, as an email message, a request on LinkedIn, a web form, or as an SMS, etc. A lead is, therefore, the starting point of every marketing and commercial process, especially when it has to do with Facebook remarketing. It is likely to become a qualified contact, that is to say a prospect who has the potential to become a customer. These different terms illustrate the different steps that mark a process to move your leads towards a sale. You will indeed be called to implement this process to develop your business through digital and especially the internet. We understand better why one of the most important marketing approaches on different websites is now based on lead generation techniques. But what is the best technique to use? What does page engagement entail concerning Facebook remarketing? It is well known Facebook is the most used social network in the world with more than 2 billion users, and by extension, in reunion and remarketing, and also by companies. Having fans on Facebook is good, but committed fans and interacting with them is better. The engagement rate calculates the engagement on their social networks, including their Facebook page, which one can consider the best way in Facebook remarketing. How using engagement increases lead rates on Facebook remarketing. The engagement rate is used to measure the effectiveness of a Facebook page, especially shared and published posts. Taking into account the interactions of Internet users on the page and or on different publications. Facebook sets the engagement rate as a percentage of people who liked, commented, or shared your post or clicked on it after seeing it, thereby giving you insight on the strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, SWAT, of your brand. Knowing these will help you utilize your opportunities and increase your strengths to remarket using Facebook. In other words, it is the interest and participation of Internet users with your content. A good engagement rate is synonymous with an active community, driven by a real desire to interact with your brand or your company. This engagement rate can be calculated in two different ways, depending on what you want to determine, which ranges from your community's overall engagement on your page to the success of a very specific publication. So, you can find in the numbers by using the tool made available by Facebook itself or calculate it yourself. How is page engagement essential in generating leads? First of all, the engagement rate, as the name implies, represents the participation of your fans, not just the visibility of the publications. More accurate, 
and more specific than the Facebook scope. This has become a key performance indicator in today's Facebook remarketing strategy. Though showing your posts to 30,000 people will not bring you any value if only 6 to 10 of them interact with your content. Besides, Facebook values the engagement rate. The more your page is animated and worked, the more there will be diffusion and therefore better visibility which will probably increase your opportunities to remarket. Know that the like has less and less importance, especially with the appearance of other appreciations, which Facebook gives more value. According to the algorithm of the social network, these new appreciations, which mostly appeal to emotions, encourage more participation on the part of the user, since they do not just simply press like, but will look to share the emotion that the post gives them. So there is more commitment, and therefore more opportunities to remark it. Thus, this can be effectively used to increase lead generation as a means of Facebook remarketing by choosing the right time to publish content on Facebook when it is most suitable to your target audience, adding attractive images that appeal to your target customers on Facebook posts, offering unique and relevant content, offering competitive exercises like quizzes on your Facebook page, etc. Skyrocket conversion rates by retargeting specific URL visits. Retargeting can go wrong in many ways, but you must choose the right way to retarget the right people. Retailers usually retarget every visitor of their site with the same ad. This technique can help, but it's not the best idea. Keep in mind that your website has different pages and products that are attractive to different people, so the task is to point that out. Arrange the visitors with their preferred page or product and hit them with a matching ad. Show your audience the specific ads that will be more convincing for them. Let's look at this example if a person visits your website to read your blog post and signs off, and another person who is more attracted to your products and is checking them out. You are going to hit the second person with the same ad or the product he was searching for, and for the first person, you can show an ad of your blogs related to the one that person was reading. This retargeting based on specific URL visits can be very helpful for your business. Website Custom Audience A website custom audience enables you to create a list of people that visit your website and take specific actions. In this way, you will be able to hit these people with custom ads made just for them. This helps in re-engaging the people who visited your website and left without converting. Strategies to be used while retargeting specific URL visits. Here are some strategies that will be helpful for you to retarget using a website custom audience. Retarget all your traffic. This is in the default ad campaign setting of Facebook and it can be helpful for people having less website traffic to interact with. All you must do is specify the duration of your audience and start the campaign. Retarget people who visited a specific page for a product but didn't purchase. People who were interested in one of your products would not be impressed by an ad you created for everyone. Create an ad that contains their favorite product and probably a discount code for it. This strategy will help you more as you are striking at the right spot. Remind them to complete their purchase if they are distracted by any way. Offer them a discount if they are reluctant to pay you that much money. Select the people who visited that page of a specific product. Add the URL of that page, insert the duration, and simply run the campaign. Retarget your contact page viewers. Maybe some people are visiting your contact page to have a collaboration with you, or they can be interested in working with you. Hit them with the right ad, the one including your policies of working with others, how you hire employees, and your contact information. This ad can help the audience in getting what they want and remind them to talk to you. Add to the target audience, insert the URL of your Contact Us Thank You page, specify a duration, and run the ad. Retarget people who added products to their cart but didn't check out. 
These ads will be specifically for people who visited your website for buying, added products in their baskets, and even initiated the checkout process but didn't confirm it. These people may need to be reminded to complete their purchase. All you have to do is create an ad for them. Probably provide a 10% discount code that will be a temptation to complete their purchase. Select the Add to Basket action, check out action, and create a refined campaign for these specific people. Retarget your previous buyers. This ad campaign will be specified for people who previously bought stuff from you. You will have to target them with ads of products similar to their previous purchase or something complementary to it. Take your time and make groups of your buyers. If a person has bought a bed from you before, try not to hit them with an ad for a different bed after a few weeks because they won't need that. You can target them with ads of stuff that will complement their previous purchase, like decor items, bed sheets, and other furniture, including side tables or maybe a couch. Retarget your blog readers. Who wants to hit the visitors of your blog page with an ad of your new decor collection? You must customize the audience and create a specific ad made just for them. You can promote more of your content by targeting your readers. Select the people who visit this URL and specify the duration of the ad campaign to hit just these customized visitors with their specific ad. If you retarget specific URLs, you can eventually convert more traffic on your website and get your business growing. Creating a Saved Audience Facebook Remarketing Campaign Hey there, everyone! Creating saved audiences is the safest way to ensure that you won't forget to use the perfect targeting options every time that you create a campaign. What's more, it allows you to save different targeting combinations that you can test out when appropriate. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to create a remarketing campaign to retarget a test segment of your website audience. Start on the campaign creation page. You can target saved audiences with any type of marketing objective. But because we're going to test with retargeting a very specific segment of our website visitors, we are going to select conversions as our marketing objective. Let's now move to the ad set section. First, let's enter a name for the ad set. Then make sure that a website is selected under conversions and click on the select the conversion event field to select an event tracked by your Facebook pixel. Now move to the audience section and click on the use a saved audience drop down menu to select your saved audience. In this case, you can see that we selected a saved audience that targets a very specific segment of potential website visitors. Okay, let's move on. In the placement section, leave automatic placements selected. Now go to the budget and schedule section to set up your campaign's budget and schedule. Now click on continue to start creating your ad. First, enter the name for your new ad. Next, select the page that will represent your website in the ad. Now select an ad format and media. Now enter your ad copy into the primary text field. Next, make sure that a website is selected under destination and then enter your landing page URL into the website URL field. Finally, review your ad setup. Preview the ad creative in the ad preview window and then click on confirm to launch a campaign. Creating a remarketing campaign to retarget users in your saved audiences doesn't get easier than this. Creating a Look Like Audience Facebook Remarketing Campaign Hey there everyone! A few lessons ago we showed you how to create a look like audience from scratch. And it's only fair that we also show you how to create a remarketing campaign to target lookalike audiences. And that's what we'll do in this lesson. Start on the campaign creation page. You can target lookalike audiences with any type of marketing objective. For this example, 
we are going to select Reach as our marketing objective. This will allow us to show our ad to the maximum number of people that are similar to our Facebook page audience. Now move to the Ad Set section. Enter a name for the ad set. Then select the page that you are going to promote. Now click on the Custom Audiences field and then on the Lookalike Audience tab to select your lookalike audience. In this example, we are going to select the custom audience that we created using our Facebook page as a data source. Because we selected a lookalike audience that is based on our own Facebook page audience, we have to click on the Connection menu and select Exclude People Who Like Your Page to avoid retargeting our existing Facebook page fans. Leave Automatic Placement selected and move over to the Budget and Schedule section to set up your campaign's budget and schedule. Then click on Continue to start creating your ad. First, enter the name for your new ad. Next, select the ad format and media. Then enter your ad copy into the primary text field. Check the Add a Website URL box and enter your landing page URL into the Website URL field. Now review your ad setup. Preview the ad creative in the ad preview window and then click on confirm to launch the campaign. As you can see, this is actually the easiest way to create remarketing campaigns to retarget lookalike audiences. Welcome to the latest and very easy to apply Facebook Remarketing 2019-2020 video training designed to take you by the hand and walk you through the process of getting the most out of Facebook Remarketing in 2019 and 2020 on behalf of your business. I'm very excited to have you here and I know that this will be very helpful for you. This exclusive video training will show you step by step, topic by topic and tool by tool what you need to know to dominate Facebook Remarketing in the easiest way possible, using the most effective tools, and in the shortest time ever. This video training is comprised of 20 HD training videos ready to show you the latest Facebook remarketing strategies through 2019 and 2020. This is exactly what you are going to learn. Video number one. What is Facebook remarketing all about in 2019 and 2020? Video number two. What do you need right before using Facebook for remarketing by using your sources? Video number three. What do you need right before using Facebook for remarketing by using Facebook sources? Video number four. Creating a custom audience by using your sources. Video number five. Creating a custom audience by using Facebook sources. Video number six. Reaching new people who matter to your business with lookalike audiences. Video number seven using saved audience to save your commonly used targeting options. Video number eight, creating a Facebook remarketing campaign by using your sources. Video number nine, creating a Facebook remarketing campaign by using Facebook sources. Video number 10, creating a lookalike audience Facebook remarketing campaign. Video number 11, creating a saved audience Facebook remarketing campaign. Video number 12, Skyrocket conversion rates by retargeting specific URL visits. Video number 13. Dramatically increase lead generation rates by using page engagement. Video number 14. Considerably grow ROI by upselling to your past customers. Video number 15. Remarket to those who almost completed their purchase. Video number 16. Convert free trial users to customers by remarketing to them. Video number 17. Facebook Remarketing Do's and Don'ts in 2019 and 2020. Video number 18. Facebook Remarketing Premium Tools and Services to Consider in 2019 and 2020. Video number 19. Facebook Remarketing Success Stories. Video number 20. Facebook Remarketing Frequently Asked Questions in 2019 and 2020. Well, it's time for you to start getting the most out of Facebook Remarketing in 2019 and 2020 on behalf of your business. I know you'll love this training.